Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Between Odd and Even by Sandra and Nala. So we have normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules. That means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have between lines in the grid. Those are where we have either squares or circles that are connected by lines, the big ones that occupy cells. Um, so uh, wh whichever one it is, whether it's circles or squares, um, Whatever digits we put in the shapes, they they um, the digits on the lines have to be strictly in between. So they can't repeat the digits that are in the shapes, and they can't be outside of the range. So if this was a 2 and this was a 5, then these two digits would need to be between the 2 and the 5. I can't use the 2. I can't use the 5. I certainly can't use the 1 or the 6. But I could do 4 and 4 if I want. That would work. Or I could do 4 and 3 or 3 and 3. Whatever you want to do, as long as they are in between, exact in between, exclusively, the range in the shapes. All right. Additionally, um, the, all the circles in the grid that are in cells are um, odd, and all of the squares are even. I try to remember that by squares have an even number of sides. Additionally, we have these two here, these little shapes that touch two cells. This means that these two are even, and these two are odd. They are not Kropke dots. All they do is tell the parity of those cells. All right, and those are the rules. Um, there's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I am going to get started right now. All right, well, I'm going to start by coloring because I think coloring really helps. So um, these all have to be even, and these all have to be odd. And I use orange for odd and blue for even. Um, and now what we can do is we can just expand our coloring. So we need we have all our evens for this column. There's only three evens and three odds in one to six. So we're going to have three of each in every row, column, and box. So we can just find rows, columns, and boxes that need colors and just fill them uh, when they're forced. Um, this row needs a blue. That means this column needs an orange. Um, ah, this box needs blues. Ah, this row needs or two oranges. This needs to be blue. I don't think we can finish these because we need a blue and an orange here and a blue and an orange here. So we can't quite finish the coloring as far as I can tell. Um, but now I think I think the key is one and six because there's not much else to go on, but you can't put one or six on a line. So let's highlight all of the line cells that are odd, and we can only be three, five, and all the line cells that are even, it's just these two, they can only be uh, two, four, they can't be six. And uh, just to explain in case it's not clear, if you put if you put a one on a line cell, what are you going to put that's below one in one of the shapes? That, that touches it. You're nothing. All right, well, if this is 3, 5, um, well, we don't know it's a 3, 5 pair. Um, so they could be the same digit as each other. So I'm not sure what to do with that. Um, this is a 3, 5 pair, though, so we can put a 1 here. Um, ah. Okay, so if we look here, this is going to be a 2, 4, 6 triple. The 6 is over here, so this can't be a 6. So this is 2 or 4 only. Um, again, I don't know if these are a pair. I'm missing something important about that. Okay, whatever this is, maybe this is important. Um, okay, so this line here also touches this 3, 5. Okay, so these are from 135. Let's fill that. The question is whether a 3 can really go in these, and I think they can't. Yeah, because if a 3 goes in here, we're either 1, 3 or 3, 5. 3, 5 is obviously bad, but yeah, um, 1, 3 also excludes both the 3 and the 5. So we're not including a 3 here, which means in this row, the 3 must go here. That's a 5. Um... So this is a this is it can't repeat the one on the other end. There'd be nothing to put in here, and this is a one or a five. So that's five and that's one. That's five. Okay. So now we know this is double three. Um. Oh, and we can just keep filling cells if we want. We can fill one five here. That means one of these is three. Um. So what did we learn here? This. This is smaller than this. So yeah, we know it's not. So this is 406 only. 
Don't know if that's helpful. Um, well, if this is 4 or 6 only, it's bigger than the 3. That's cool. So this has to be smaller than the 3, so it has to be the 2. And then that forces the 2 in this box to be here. And now that'll just automatically be smaller. So it could be either. Um, what else do we have here? This is a 4 6 pair. That 4 6 goes here. That's 4 6. OK, so let's look at this line. Um, the 4 6 is bigger than the 3. So this needs to be smaller than the 3. So it has to be the 2, because it's the only even digit that's smaller than 3. That resolves all of these. Um, these are a 2 4 pair. The 4 goes there. The 2 goes there. That gives us 6, the 6, and the 4, and the 6. This is 2, 4. We know the order. Um, we need a 2 and a 6 here. The 2 tells us the order. Um, ah, 1 goes here. That's 5 and 1. This is 5 and 3. All right, we can probably finish this. Uh, what do we need? We have 1, 2. We need a 3 and a 4. Yeah, so that's 3, that's 4. Let's color them, and let's make sure we color the rest of the grid before we accidentally finish the puzzle first. All right, that's three, sorry, that's six and three. Uh, getting ahead of myself, that's one, and this is five. Nice. All right, well, cool puzzle. Thanks, Sandra and Nala. Um, I enjoyed uh, being able to parody color and then thinking about the between lines. That, um, good introduction to those concepts. Uh, quite enjoyed it. And of course, if you enjoyed it, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.